Bungo Stray Dogs is coming to a close. It only has two episodes left in this fourth season, and so far it has been very good. But the best is certainly yet to come. But when will that be? So without further ado, I am Tiago with Attack on Tiago, and for today's video I'll be going over Bungo Stray Dogs Season 4 and predicting what's to come, and also giving my thoughts on what's happened so far. For those who haven't seen Bungo Stray Dogs, here's a general premise of the series. Having been kicked out of the orphanage, a despairing young man by the name of Atsushi Nakajima rescues a strange man from a suicide attempt, Osamu Dazai. Turns out that Dazai is part of an armed detective agency staffed by individuals whose supernatural powers take on a literary bent. <laughs> But we are on the fourth season of Bungo Stray Dogs now. And again, overall, this has been a very good season. Starting off with the first three episodes being great flashbacks to when Rampo and Fukuzawa first met and showing essentially the start and creation of the Armed Detective Agency. Then quickly, we get addressed with Nikolai Gogol, who is a member of the Five Deadly Omens, along with Fyodor, a villain we've seen in a previous season. Coming in, I assume Nikolai would be the main villain this season, but he doesn't appear long, as he then fools the entire armed detective agency and essentially sets them up to be fall guys and deemed evil in the public eye. And for the rest of the season, the agency has essentially been on the run. But they're not just running from, let's say, the police, for example, but they're also being hunted by a powerful superpower group known as the Bloodhounds. <laughs> Throughout this season, I feel it's been building and building to this climax, an eventual collision between many of the characters, including the Armed Detective Agency, the Bloodhounds, the Port Mafia, and maybe the Five Deadly Omens. And when that collision comes, it will probably be as epic as it sounds. But that's where my nervousness lies. There are only 11 episodes right now, with only two episodes left. I don't see how they can wrap up the season with a fitting, satisfying conclusion in just two episodes. No way. It probably will have a cliffhanger, which will be so agonizing to have to wait for a part two or a fifth season. But that's not to say Bungo Stray Dogs has poorly handled this season, since I have loved everything they've done so far, but it is super unfortunate that this conflict may have to wait. And instead, we've gotten some episodes and moments that have left me wanting more. Like the last episode, for example, was essentially just Atsushi and Kyoka breaking out this character named Oguri, and them escaping and finding out Ango has been in communications with Dazai. It was a fine episode, but one that I feel like has barely progressed the plot forward. And we also had an episode dedicated to Osano's backstory mid-season, when usually, Backstory episodes happen in the beginning of each season. On top of this, I feel many of the best characters in Bungo Stray Dogs have been completely sidelined this season or are non-existent. Rampo had his screen time early on, but has been since absent for a while. Dazai has had maybe a few lines of dialogue overall and is now captured alongside Fyodor communicating with him. Speaking of Fyodor, he's been pretty marginalized as well. As for the two best Port Mafia characters, Chuya appeared in one moment where he was saving the agency from the Bloodhounds, that lasted maybe a few minutes, and Akutagawa has been nowhere to be seen this entire season. Like, I can understand if you're trying to give other characters their moments to shine, but if you've already built up these amazing characters throughout three seasons, to us the viewers, it's a bit disappointing to not only not see them on screen, but not even really have them mentioned or addressed. But I already know they will come out eventually, but it will probably be in the form of the last episode cliffhanger at the end of the season, right when the conflict is about to start. My gut is just telling me that's how Bungo Stray Dogs will go, 
which will be so disappointing due to just having to wait to see how it unfolds with these amazing characters. And we haven't gotten any confirmation yet on a part two or season five, which I already know is going to come out, but its release date could make us wait even longer. I know it sounds like I'm being negative. I'm not trying to since I really do love this season. And this is probably my favorite anime of this winter 2023 season. But when in my eyes, the best characters in the series are barely seen on screen during the main plot, and we have to instead focus on characters like Atsushi or Kenji, who are much more boring, then I have reason to critique what I'm seeing. Especially characters like Dazai and Chuya, who are some of my all-time favorite characters in anime. And I already know that with how Bungo Stray Dogs is going, it is going to get insane. But eventually. Well everyone, that is it for the video. Are you enjoying this season of Bungo Stray Dogs? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. I am Tiago, Attack on Tiago, and I hope you all have a nice day.